Hi guys. Um, so I will probably be putting, sharing this video on both my channels here. Um, but I'm first posting this on our Faith Fries and Fry Pays channel. This is the Holly Jolly Christmas tag. And I was tagged on that channel, but I'm going to share this channel on both because that way um, the people that I've tagged all should hopefully see this. Um, because at least one of them was from my other channel. Um, I don't always think about it, but when I'm commenting on channels, I just I open up YouTube and I'll watch a video and then I'll comment. Well, I'm not always signed into my Quiet Times Talks channel. So then, like, when stuff like this comes up, they tag, you know, this, my family vlog channel, because I've commented using this one. So, I don't know if I'll even bother messing with that. I guess it doesn't really matter to me. But anyway, I got tagged by Just So Trish, and I am going to tag the Julia Way UK family vlog, the Dudgies family vlog, and Wildflower Homeschool and Tiny House Homestead. So what we're going to be doing is answering some, some Christmas questions here. And I will put them down in the description so you guys can just, you know, copy and paste them or write them down or whatever you want to do. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to try to answer them here. Um, so favorite Christmas movie. I think probably right now... It'd probably be the Polar Express, and that's kind of like a family favorite, I think. Um, I think we all like watching that one together, and so that kind of, I think that plays into why it's my favorite, because everybody likes watching it. On the naughty or nice list, hmm, I think it would depend on the day, to be honest. Um, I think most days I do really good, but then there's other days where I'm just frustrated and cranky, and I probably don't, you know, make it onto that nice list. Show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. So we don't do Christmas cards. I do have a photo. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't think this is embarrassing. But I tried to make this snowman thing for my kids. And so I made this picture of a snowman. And then um, I did the the paper chain coming down from this picture. So then the kids could, you know, rip the chain to count down to Christmas. Anyways, my snowman looked like he was possessed or something. So I will throw that up there right now. Okay, have you ever had a white Christmas? Hmm, let me think about this. I live in Minnesota. It is white here. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can show you guys. Um, yeah, it snows here a lot. And a lot of the vloggers I know live in, in uh, warm climates. So they avoid this mess here. I'll see if I can show you guys. I'm using my laptop. Hopefully this works, but there it is. Yeah. So yes, I have had a white Christmas every single year of my life. I have never been anywhere tropical or subtropical or anything ever for Christmas. I've always had a white Christmas my entire life. It has snowed every single year, long before Christmas. Usually, I think it's Sorry, plugging myself back in because my battery doesn't last long. Usually it has snowed, like, by Halloween. We've started getting snow here and there. Because I live way up north in Minnesota, too. Alright. Where do you usually spend your holiday? Well, in previous years we've always gone to my mom's, like, on Christmas Eve, I think, and then my husband's parents on Christmas Day, and my daughter has to go to her biological dad's, and then we try to fit in a church service in there, and it's been crazy. And every year I get frustrated, and I just don't enjoy the holidays. So this year we did something different for Thanksgiving, and we might try it for Christmas, I'm undecided. Basically, we stayed home. <laughs> we did Thanksgiving for the very first time on our own at home, and it went really well. The kids enjoyed it. Um, my son even was like, I like this. I like it being just us. So that was really cool. So we might do that again. Um, play or sing your favorite Christmas song. I like most Christmas songs. Um, probably my favorite would be... 
Hmm. Hi. Hang on. I don't want to grab him. Uh, I think my favorite would probably be um away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Yeah, it's kind of a long song, so I'm not going to sing the whole whole thing. But yeah, I think Away in the Manger is probably like one of my favorites. Um, Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? In previous years, yes, we have. Because we do so much traveling. So my mom lives 30 minutes away from us. My mother-in-law lives like an over an hour away from us and then my husband's grandma lives like an hour and a half away from us and we used to travel to all of their houses so obviously in order to fit in our own Christmas we had to figure out an alternative time to do it so Christmas Eve was how we used to open our presents and then we'd open Santa's presents in the morning before we had to leave to travel are you bored do you want down what are you doing are you showing up to barely um <laughs> Let's see. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? There's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen and Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen and Brute. So yeah, I can name them. I only know that actually because of a song we sung in elementary school. Um, let's see. Is your, let's see, wait, I'm skipping one, hold on. What holiday tradition are you looking forward to most? I'd have to say cookie decorating. I love <laughs> decorating cookies like making sugar cookies and then using the uh, oh. cookie cutters ah. and frosting them that has to be my favorite um is your christmas tree real or fake well you can see it back there there um it is fake 100 percent fake i have four children two dogs and two cats to keep alive the last thing i need is a tree so yeah ours is fake um, hands down, what's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? Hmm. Holiday oh. food. I like all food. Like, this is a hard one. Um, I really like honey glazed ham for Christmas in particular. I like honey glazed ham, I think. And for a sweet treat, I don't know, probably sugar cookies would probably be my favorite Christmas sweet treat. Um, be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I like giving gifts better. I find getting gifts really, really awkward. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm uncomfortable with getting gifts. And then, like, two, everybody's always asking you ahead of time, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't want anything. Like, and it's, I'm not even just saying that so that they won't give me anything. Like, I honestly, I have everything that I need, and I'm just content. So there's nothing that I, like, want or even need, so I don't know what to ask for. So I usually just say, like, a gift card, because then if something comes up, you know, then... I can use the gift card um, if something we have breaks or whatever. So I'll usually just, you know, tell people to do gift cards. Um, show us your tackiest Christmas attire. I don't own any Christmas attire. Um, usually I just try to find like a red top of some sort and then a skirt or something to put on. I don't own any Christmas attire. My kids have some Christmas PJs, but yeah, no, I don't have anything. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? I don't really know, because we kind of live in a really cool place for Christmas time. Like, it's all white and pretty outside, and we all kind of like to hang out inside and stay warm, and I don't think there's anywhere I'd really want to travel. I think it'd be weird to be somewhere else on Christmas. Um, 
It might be cool to go to a big city just for a visit, like, and see one of those big, huge trees that they have in, like, city squares. That would be cool. We don't have anything like that here, but that would be cool if we traveled to, like, a big city. I don't know if there's one in particular, but just to see one of those giant trees that's, like, the size of a skyscraper. That would be cool. Um... Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to make? Let me think. We lo make a lot of the typical stuff for holidays, but we I do make these homemade dinner rolls that are pretty much I only make them around holidays because they're a lot of work. <laughs> he's teething, so he's a little bit fussy. Um, are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably? I would say I'm actually pretty good at it. Like, I do pretty well, I think anyways. We've had some pretty crazy stuff we've had to wrap over the years, and I think I've, I've done a pretty good job. Um, most memorable holiday moment. Okay, first of all, I will tell a Christmas one, but I have to tell this one, and this isn't a Christmas one. This is actually an Easter one. But I'm just going to tell it because I think it's a really cute story and I don't think I've shared it on either, either of my channels. So, my daughter's first Easter, my husband and I were dating. And we woke up in the morning with her and um, see, woke up in the morning with her, we, we got up, you know, we had all the eggs hid. She came out to find them and stuff, and then, um, I thought we'd found all the eggs, but then he's like, oh, here, you gotta bring this one to mommy, and then he's like, this one's for mommy to open, and I open it, and there's an engagement ring. So, he asked me to marry him on Easter, so I thought that was really cool, so I had to share that one. But I would probably say my favorite Christmas memory would be, um, when I was a kid, you found a battery. Thank you. We have a rule in our house. The kids have to bring us any batteries. They don't. Good job. But so, my favorite Christmas memory, I was a teenager maybe, maybe preteen. Anyways, we used to watch the movie Gremlins all the time around Christmas. And I told my mom that I wanted one for Christmas. And then she actually found me a stuffed animal um mogwai so i opened it for christmas and we just like we could not stop laughing because obviously like it was a joke and she just happened to really find a mogwai stuffed animal so yeah i got a gremlin for christmas that was probably one of my favorites um what made you realize the truth about yeah. santa i actually i want to answer this one but i can't because i'm a mom and i have little kids in the room so, we're not going to talk about this right now. Um, I might come back to that one if this little guy leaves. <laughs> do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I do not make them. I, I guess my feeling towards New Year's is, is shouldn't we all be trying to do our best all the time? Why do we all wait until January 1st to start fixing our lives? To me, I think you should always be doing your best to improving yourself and improving your house, your home, your situation, your life, whatever might be stressing you out or bothering you. I feel like you should be doing that year-round. And I know it's probably like, you probably are all thinking that's a cheesy answer and, you know, but that's like really how I feel about it. I'm not just saying that to say it and sound cheesy. I really feel like you should always be working to improve things that are you know, what you consider to not be good in your life. Yeah, you got Wonder Woman. What makes the holiday special for you? Um, I would have to say the reason that we celebrate it in the first place, you know. Knowing that God sent his only son, his only son, he had one son, and he sent him down to earth to have to live on, you know, down here with us people and then die for our sins, I think that's pretty amazing. Like, I can't even imagine, like, as a parent, doing that. I can't imagine being like, oh, here, yeah, just take my kid, and, you know, 
He's all yours. Do what you wish with him. I just, I can't imagine that. Um. But yeah. So. Alright, my little guy's out of the room now. So I can go back to the, uh, Santa one. The truth about Santa. Well, I, I kind of suspected from a pretty young age about Santa Claus and his true whereabouts. But. I found the person. You know, the D ones. And so that's what really did it in for me, is I uncovered the, uh, you know what. But, here's the thing. In my house, growing up, if you stop believing in him, he stopped bringing you stuff. So even though I found out and I knew, I said nothing. My lips were sealed. I said nothing to my mom, I said nothing to my brothers, and as far as my parents are concerned, I still believe that he's real to this day. So, I'm going with that. Anyways, so that was my Holly Jolly Christmas tag video, and like I said, I'm going to link the channels I tagged down in the description if you guys want to comment, and if you guys just want to do it and I didn't tag you and you just stumbled across this and you want to be part of this. I would love for you guys to be part of this. Just comment down below when you have your videos up or if you'd like to do the video and let me know and I will try to get it um, all on a playlist together so that you guys can find your your responses to it. I will also link Just So Trish's channel because she tagged me and then um, I think she's making a playlist so if she gets that up and going I will link you put a link up for that too down in the description or somewhere here anyways I hope that you all are doing well and that your Christmas preparations are going smoothly um, God bless you all and we will see you soon bye